Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakrash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations as always to the elect. And I wanted to uh, bring out a lesson as concerning this situation here. As you can see, the title of the video, Black Hebrew Israelites, which there's no such thing. Uh, that's a, a coding, right, for the devil's um, agenda. But all right, that's how people are going to continuously present it. It is what it is. But we detach from that, that term. There's no such thing as a black Hebrew Israelite. Anyway, black Hebrew Israelites confronted by Buffalo community and activists outside of grocery shooting scene. All right, and there's also a version of this video up on uh, one of the IUIC pages, but I decided to use this one. And I will say they showed uh, great patience because our people are wicked as hell. Uh, although we don't agree with them, you know, in uh, particulars of the doctrine, all right, they do teach our people who they are. And they went out here uh, to tell them why these things are happening to them, tell them to repent. And they were met with resistance, okay, showing you that it's true. Our people are a bunch of scorpions. This is why the Lord told Ezekiel, make your forehead hard against theirs and do not be dismayed at their their, their crazy speeches and words and the things that they're going to say against you. And the title of the IUIC video was, you know, misplaced anger because our people were screaming at these men who are out there you know, trying to, you know, teach them the truth of who they are, which once you understand who you are, you then understand why particular things are happening. All right. But every time we went. All right. To uh, heavily Jake populated areas, this is exactly what happens. You are met with resistance. OK, and they 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 and, and, and pretty much, as they said, misplaced anger. Here it is. The, the Edomite is the one who went up all right into that grocery uh, store so-called and shot up jake and here is it here it is they're telling you know the the the, the people well the 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 so-called white man's an edomite we're the israelites this is why there's so much friction trying to go into the scriptures and as you're going to see jake didn't want to hear it okay and we're in the time of mass judgments OK, and here it is. You still have particular Israelites who supposedly know the truth telling us that we're supposed to love the two thirds when the two thirds were created to be destroyed. All right. Now, those spirits will eventually, you know, uh, be, you know, born back into the covenant. But for the sake of the gospel, for the sake of this story, they were to be enemies. OK, now the best way to love them is to what? Persuade them to repent. Tell them of the terror of the Lord. Tell them to stop doing the wickedness they do or they'll be destroyed. As a matter of fact, let's get that. OK. In Second Corinthians five and eleven, it says, knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, all right, the, the Lord who flooded the earth, the Lord who burned, you know, the, the five cities dealing with Sodom and Gomorrah. OK, all of the judgments we know of that has happened. The heavenly father is responsible for them. All right, what happened to Egypt? Okay, knowing the uh, therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. So we are, you know, like Noah as he went out and preached. The Lord showed him a vision of what was to come in the form of the flood, and he was to go out there and warn the people. At that time, it was the sons of God to repent, to stop doing the evil, to stop doing wickedness. You see. Because he saw the terror of the Lord in a, in a form of a vision. Okay. And we've been opened up to the understanding of these prophecies. We've been opened up. All right. Brothers receive visions. All right. Brothers and particular sisters have dreams of, of terrible things to come. The deliverance. So we go out here to tell our people to come back to the Lord so that you can receive covering. All right. The tabernacle of David is likened unto the, 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 the Noah's Ark. You see. To uh, have a protection from these hard things that are going to come to the earth. So knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. 
So we're not out there to tell our people how beautiful they are and that we love them. We show love by telling them to repent. Okay. Now, let's see if there's any other precepts to go here. Psalm 76 and 7, though even thou art to be feared and who may stand in thy sight once thou art angry. See, the Lord is to be feared. All right. And our people are stuck on this love kick. All right. And they're going to love their ass right off of that mountain and cliff and be destroyed right along with the people who are leading them in that simple ass mindset. All right. Now. Let's see how Jake. <laughs> reacted, you know, to men, all right, going out and teaching them who they are and telling them to repent and coming out of the Holy Scriptures. Because clearly this man is your enemy outside of this event that happened in Buffalo. The history of what he has done to us, all right, all 12 tribes is atrocious. It's a, a, an atrocity. And in the time of 2022, all of our people should be asking why. Okay, especially if you say you believe in the Bible, you should say, does the Bible explain all of these atrocities that happened to us? Why would the Lord allow this? And then you can get understanding. And even though these men don't teach the full truth, okay, this could have been a way for uh, Jake to eventually be introduced to the full truth. Because you have a lot of brothers who used to follow IUIC and sisters. All right. But as they, you know, kept watching, they were awakened, you know, to the tr the, uh, the real truth through the, you know, start the apostles and elders teaching and brothers, you know, who teach the name of the Lord and the whole truth of the matter. But anyway. Um, check this out. Check out Jake. And as you can see. A Black Lives Matter uh, guy is out there. And when you deal with BLM, I remember I did a video exposing their mission statement. A few people started to, to pick up on what their mission statement was really all about. And when you read it, they basically were saying they wanted to undo, all right, the uh, well-known practice of patriarchy where the man is the head, all right, and they wanted to replace that. All right. With the alphabet people as leadership. See, that's really the agenda of that. And the people who led it. All right. Were what? All three. Uh, <laughs> see how I can say that. All right. Uh, 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 Lesbos, Lesbo Island. See, and they're under scrutiny now, but to hell with them. We showed you Israelites that that agenda has nothing to do with. With Yahweh Bashim Shai, and it's 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 funded and backed by Edomites. It's just going to be a movement that's going to be used to put blame on you as the time gets closer. BLM is stupid. Here it is. They use the faces of so-called black men getting shot, but when you go to the agenda of it, it has nothing to do with uplifting the so-called black man, but uplifting all of these different alphabets as leadership in your com com communities. And how does that help? All right. But you still have our people walking around screaming some BLM. And look how Jake treats each other. How could you say your life matters? All right. When look how you treat each other. You want to go and scream and cry when the so-called white man uh, 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 shoots you up. But you shooting each other up daily and treating each other like shit, committing adultery with each other, robbing, stealing, selling drugs. And all of this wickedness you do amongst each other is never really addressed. But when Esau does something, you, you want to go out and march and cry and scream for him to stop. And to treat you as an equal. Well, if you go into the Holy Scriptures, it tells you never to trust your enemy. It gives you the game needed. Okay. <laughs> but you niggas don't even know you have an enemy. But then you go out. And set up a camp to teach Jake that they have an enemy. And look what happens. Holding your hands 
Now here's a so-called black woman. She, she's crying to the police to remove these men from off of the block. And listen to her. <laughs> they down there. They down at the other end. They harassing everybody. And white the white people walking by, they telling us to hate them. What kind of peace is that? Yeah, please get it. They got to go. Some of us is breathing. We've been breathing all week. And some of us still ain't buried our loved ones. We don't want to hear this garbage. We don't want to hear it. Don't tell me something about 1,300 years ago. I'm See, you hear the mindset of our people. I don't want to hear nothing about 13 years ago. Well, you have to understand the past to know the present. Things that the prophets spoke thousands of years ago are, are very prevalent now. The, the, the words of the Lord are never dead. They're always living. You see, and this is the mindset of our people. And this is why when you read the book of Jeremiah, you constantly see this theme of pray not for this people. Okay. Therefore, pray not thou for this people, Jeremiah 7 and 16, neither lift up a cry for them, neither make intercession for me, all right, to me, for I will not hear thee, all right? And there was a point where Jeremiah was, you know, he, he was pleading to the Lord for Israel's sake, all right? There was a point where a lot of us who came into this truth, we had a soft spot for our people, you know, our people, our people. All right. But as you, you know, live and learn and you see the rebelliousness of our people, you understand why the Heavenly Father put us in captivity. You understand why he's getting ready to starve these niggas out. All right. He's saying, pray not for these people. OK, going out on the highways and the byways and alone telling them to repent is enough. But our people, let's go here. Isaiah 31, I believe. <clears throat> And it's a waste of time to even go. But, hey, the Lord wants people to be condemned. This is, what is it, Isaiah 30? Yeah, Isaiah 30, Salak, yeah. Isaiah 30. Hmm. In five, they were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, nor be a help, nor a profit, but a shame. And also a reproach. Our people are still crying to the white man. Love me. Accept me. Why you hate us? Black, my life matters. But then you go and eat a big pot of gumbo, smoke cigarettes. All right. And commit all manners of, of, of wickedness. Talking about your life matters. No, it doesn't. The only lives that matters are the repentant Israelites, the remnant. Whom the Lord is going to uh, uh, redeem. Okay. But I'm going to just go to the point here. Verse 7, for the Egyptians shall help in vain. Esau is not going to help you. And if he does offer help, it's only to undermine you at the end of the day. Thus, civil rights and everything else, which he set all of that up. Okay? <laughs> and what was the end result of that? Everybody being liberated. For all manner and purposes. It started off with a back of so-called black civil rights and then everybody wanted rights according to their sex according to whatever lust they had okay and the same damn thing is going on today man for the egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose therefore have i cried concerning this their strength is to sit still the egyptians shall help in vain all right because i always bring it out at the time you set up this the, this whole civil rights thing was set up, it was a set up from the get-go because Jake was doing all right. Even after slavery, we had family structure to a degree. We were able to uh, 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 teach our children at home and have schools and printing uh, uh, companies, print our own news, had our own movie theaters, okay? But when Esau saw that, he said, we have to figure out a way to disrupt this. So he set up things like women's liberation, okay? And he set up, all right, instead of you going to your own schools, he set up propaganda to get you to cry to be accepted into their schools. 
And once you got mingled among the heathen, what happened? What has always happened, man. You got freaked out, more weird, more confused. Now look at you. All right? <laughs> it says, and the Egyptians, modern day Egyptians are the Edomites. It says, now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for a time to come. Forever and ever. And this is how we know who our people are for these things that are written. It matches right up. The mindset that our people have today matches right up with the mindset our people had as the ancient prophets went out and tried to teach. That this is a rebellious people and lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. OK. They want to hear everything else but order. They're rebellious. OK. They don't want to hear that they're chosen. Now they're atheists. Now they don't even care about the most high God. They really still think the white man is God. Okay. They'll have a picture of Caesar Bozier in their house. But then you bring out the Bible. I don't want to hear nothing for 1300 years ago. I don't, that ain't prevalent today. With cigarette smoke coming out of her ass. Which say to the seers, now before they were called prophets, they were called seers. Who do they say to the seers? See not, a prophet speaks of things, all right, before they come. All right, for the Lord shows it to him. He revealed his secrets unto the servants of the prophets, which say unto the seers, see not, and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. Our people don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear right things. They want to hear smooth things. They want to hear what makes them feel good. All right? That we're all going to one day join hand in hand after all of this hell that has went on between the so-called white man and us. They still want to hear uh, we, we, we're to love him. Now, hate, okay, that term hate, the scriptures tell you is a time for hate. The term hate doesn't necessarily mean you have to do harm to someone. The scriptures say, ye that love the Lord hate evil. You should hate what's bad unto you. Okay, I hate milk, right? Because it's bad to my body. I just have a strong dislike for it. That doesn't mean when I see milk, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it down on the floor. I'm you know, kicking it, you know, pouring it out of the carton, saying I hate milk. No, I just have a strong dislike for it because of my experience with it. So we have a hatred for you Edomites because of our experience with you in understanding who you are, understanding who we are, and going into prophecy. Okay? You people don't mean us any good. So hate isn't necessarily a negative thing, but see, our people have been programmed by the devil. And they show hate to each other more than anything. Okay? Okay? I'm talking about what happened right now. I'm talking about 10 people innocent over there. My family ain't the only one grieving. So we don't want to hear this garbage. They ain't trying to bring us together. Well, they're out there telling you you're the special, you're the chosen people of the Lord. And here it is, they're crying to be brought together with Esau. Okay? Madness. They ain't trying to bring us together. They trying to cause us to hate all y'all. But don't trust y'all because y'all white. But your heart is red like mine. You got red blood just like me. You put your pants on and take a shower just like I do. So I don't want to hear that hatred. You feel me? I don't want to hear that garbage. Get out of here with that Who's mess. Who's daughter is right there under that tent? Yeah, I'm sure. About to do a memorial. About to do a memorial. And we got to hear this hate right down here. And they standing down here like they, like they a gang. Standing all like this, like they gonna hit somebody. But that's the same community you talk about you with. You not with the community if you on a stance like that. that. Even the police are looking like this is a dumb nigga here, boy. <laughs> That's how it rolls. Help one of these kids. You ain't with no community. Get out of my face with that foolishness. I want them gone. I'm telling you. And if y'all don't get them, trust me, we got some folk ready to get them. You heard that? If y'all don't get them, we got some folk ready to get them. And this is the, a, a lot of black women do this. Women, period. But a black woman is good at that. Going and get Darrell. 
and having another nigga harmed over her just being, because she can clearly just go up the street. She can clearly not listen to him. Okay? <laughs> they out there with the mic, all right, ruining the mood. <laughs> all right? But 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 what what's her? What's the end all be all for her? Well, if 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 y'all don't get him out of here, I know some niggas who will. And then what? Perpetuate the the the, the same damn so you going to have a nigga come and do the same thing that that white boy did to Big Mama and them at the grocery store, right? And what is that going to uh, uh, prove? How does that help? This is the worst people ever, man. And anybody talking about love the two-thirds, you out of your damn mind. The only way to love them is to tell them they're going to be destroyed if they don't stop. Maybe they'll repent. Zechariah 7 and 11, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. You try to pull somebody back because that's what the prophets are. It's, it's ultimately an extension of the voice of the Lord and it's extension of the arm of the Lord, which is through Yahweh Shai, who's the right hand. So as the prophets come, all right, and, and try to pull you out of the fire, as the scriptures say, some you pull out of the fire. Let's get that in the book of Jude, because that's ultimately what we try to do when we tell our people to, 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 to repent, when we try to tell our people the truth. Now, had Lil Wayne been out there rapping and, 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 and screaming all type of garbage on a the microphone, they would dance. See, our people have a hatred for the truth. All right. And again, those men at IUIC ain't teaching a full truth, but this just goes as a lesson. I'm just using it for a lesson. All right. This is uh, Jude. Jude, verse 21, keep yourself in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, unto eternal life. He's speaking to Israelites here. Okay, the, 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 the opening chapter, in the opening of the chapter, he lets you know. Okay, the, our fathers how we were in Egypt and all of that. Anyway, it says, and some have compassion, making a difference, and others say with fear, pulling them out of the fire hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Okay, and our people, your, gar your garment represents your covering. All right, if we see flesh or a spot on your garment, we point it out to tell you, look, repent. Come back to the Lord. Okay, cover that up. All right, and what do our people do? Zechariah 7 and 11, but they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder. When someone pulls their shoulder away, that means they ain't trying to hear what you say. They don't want your help. Okay? And stop their ears that they should not hear. See that? Yea, they made their hearts as an adamant stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which Yahweh, the Lord of hosts, has sent in his spirit by the form of prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. And a great wrath is coming. We're here to also tell you. I don't know if they were telling y'all. It's getting ready to be famines, food shortages, inflation. You ain't going to be able to afford your rent or your mortgage. Okay? All of these things are coming to the planet Earth. The devil is getting ready to come down with great wrath. All right? Don't take that uh, devil's juice. Deny the charagma when that comes. We're here to tell you all of that. See? And you're going to get caught up in that. Because our people have made a covenant with death. She thinks because she's telling the police, I love y'all and I'm with y'all and they hate y'all that somehow when, when it all when it all boils down to it, she's going to be safe. Therefore, it should come to pass that as he cried and they would not hear, see the prophets out there crying and they would not hear. So they cried and I will not hear, said the Lord of hosts. You see that? And Jake is getting ready to be doing a whole lot of crying. See? As the scriptures say, many great miseries. We'll get that in a minute as well. We try 
trying not to be, we're trying not to be violent. I'm telling you, sir, sir, we're trying not to be. I'm telling you, sir, I'm telling you, we're trying all we know how to keep our... Now, she threatened to get somebody on them, basically. Now, if something happened to one of those men, now she can be called in. Dummy. This is the most stupidest people on the planet Earth. The, the uh, people who you come to and tell them you're chosen of the Lord will curse you out. <laughs> See, that, 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 that's a mental sickness our people have. And it stems from the devil. And it has to be like this for the gospel to be fulfilled. Okay. And for prophecy to be fulfilled. But we're tired of seeing you niggas in this state. The death of the two thirds is really a form of mercy as well. <laughs> it's a mercy kill. A lot of you just got to go. Our job. We're trying all we know how to keep our job. But this right here. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We're doing all we can. You're not shooting up the people. That's a person of fucking high control. And then you got this idiot, BLM, screaming. He's following a bunch of damn Lesbo Islands. That's who's at the forefront of his movement. Really, Esau is, but he got them three at the forefront of it. And they're getting called out for taking the money and buying it, houses and all of this. Then you got these fake, dumb, deep niggas like Talib Kweli defending them through. Black culture is finished, man. Okay, it's over. It was a failed science experiment of the so-called white man. It's time to wake the hell up. Niggas been marching and, and screaming for equality for years. Nigga, what, you think it's going to happen now? Now he's getting ready to, uh, <laughs> to try to put a haragma in your ass. Okay? A lot, a lot of these niggas are yobbed up. They had no one. When, when the white man showed up and told them to go and get that, yob, that, that juice, none of these niggas uh, uh, marched and, and protested or had a problem with it. They just went and was obedient unto it. You tell them to repent unto the Lord, okay, and this is what you're met with. So here is a, a second black woman threatening to have something done to IUIC for out there teaching the word, <laughs> right? Like Nick, do you and you're telling the police this, and you niggas ain't gonna do a damn thing anyway. They got to. Let's get that. This is how the Lord described them. <laughs> In Ezekiel. Ezekiel 2 and 6. And thou son of man, which Ezekiel represents the prophets. All right. Uh, 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 that's why he was given that vision of Ezekiel. In Ezekiel 37 chapter. Symbolic of the prophets going out and breathing life into our people through the words. So the prophets are a very important part. Okay. It says, and thou son of man, be not afraid of them. 
neither be afraid of their words. As a matter of fact, let me just go to this chapter. I believe it's a scripture above that. Ezekiel 2 and 3. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel, a rebellious nation that have rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. And see, this is a lie. So you may say this was written thousands of years ago. That was what the hell that got to do. That is this is a this is speaking now. Okay. To you niggas still believe in that vain vision that Martin Luther King had of you and Esau skipping up and down the street, picking apples off the tree and berries with a rainbow in the sky. It, it doesn't. It, it, even he himself said, "I feel like I led my people into a burning house." He himself figured out that that was a damn nightmare. But see, Esau doesn't promote that MLK. They promote the the the, the one who was uh, begging and pleading to, to be accepted and be treated equal. That dream was a damn nightmare for you, chasing after it. Okay? So, the, 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 <laughs> for they are impudent, stupid children and stiff-hearted, I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God. And whether they will hear or whether they forbear, for they are a rebellious house. This is the warning to you who are going to go out and teach this word. Yet, all right, shall know that there have been a prophet among them as these things start to come to pass. And thou, son of man, be not afraid of them, neither be afraid of their words. All right, though briars and thorns be with thee, and though thou dwellest among scorpions, be not afraid of their words, nor be dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. Okay, and you're seeing that. Okay, you're seeing that. Jake is just rebellious, running up. Just, just What's wrong with y'all? Now, if these group of men had to be, happen to have been Edomites, Jake would, 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 would be what? Acting all nice. What, what you talking about, Mr. White Man? Eve. Oh. Hey, serpent, how y'all doing? Y'all want some water? I'm, I'm, we cooking fry, we frying, we frying fish. What kind of fish, man? Catfish. We, after this, y'all cook it, y'all play the catfish and french fries and mustard. See? That's what niggas would do if Esau was out there. Now, how did that bitch get a bullhorn? He just walked up on him, man. The scriptures tell you not to trust a brother. We don't know what the hell this nigga's fit to do. You just walking up on us. No, you ain't fit to just walk up on us. You ain't walking up on them cops. Them the ones shooting you upside the head as well. This is all just a big mess. And see, we've been threatened, told, look, if y'all out here next week, nigga, we gonna kill y'all. Get the fuck up out of here. See if y'all weak ass niggas out here. Nigga, we, we gonna do the and niggas ain't niggas just talk, man. Niggas, that's why the Lord said, make your forehead hard against their forehead. This is these niggas. Niggas are despicable. And then you got an Israelite who knows he's an Israelite, knows about the kingdom, knows about the, what the scripture, and he's gonna tell you you're supposed to love these people. You ain't supposed to hate them. Okay, and, and 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 we do show love by preaching unto them and prophesying. That's a form of love. That's the biggest form of love. The only people who are showing love in the earth are the remnant, the ones who are in, in sincerity and truth calling out for the Heavenly Father to set up righteousness on this earth. Nobody else is doing that. Take out the wicked rulership. Destroy the wicked from amongst our people and let's start over with, 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 with a remnant of righteousness. That's love. At the end of the day, it's no other than nothing else is love. See? But look at niggas. Look at this big neck 
WrestleMania looking nigga here. Now what are y'all hooked up? Now what are you liars hooked up? Now what are y'all hooked up? You liars, you bunch of liars, bunch of liars, bunch of liars. Nay. Nice. And look at this nigga, full of diabetes and confusion. Don't know what the hell to do through, okay, hurt, confused. This is how you know these are the Israelites, man. I'm sure Jesus told you to say that. I'm sure Jesus told you to say that. Let's read that again. It's the end of these other people. Let's read that again. Let's read that Let's get the book of Second Edges, the ninth chapter. Okay, because we're living in these times right now. And I cannot wait. All right, until the, the, the power of the Lord is shown and our people are, 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 are in, in disarray. You know, and yeah, the, the, some of the people who are behaving as two thirds now are going to eventually repent, but it's not going to be through us pity patting with them. No, we're going to uh, tell them the truth. Okay, a lot of naysayers are going to repent, but it's going to take miraculous signs and death and destruction. Okay, even for a lot of you Israelites who know you're Israelites, it's going to take a uh, 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 mass death and hard times for you to get out of that reprobate spirit. But the doors are closing, man. Second Edges 9 and 7, And everyone that shall be saved shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Faith and works go hand in hand. Okay? Shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. And that's the beauty of the elect. They've already been justified. Just got to play out our part in the movie here. Lord willing, we're of that number. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which have now abused my ways. And they and they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. For such in their life have received benefits, whether it be a job, okay, or whatever the hell they have from this system, and have not known me, okay, and they that have loathed my law, while yet they had liberty. All right, what is liberty? Grace. This is grace. And when as yet a place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. See, and when you read the book of Jeremiah, okay, he was in that, you know, for a while, he was just trying to plead with Jacob, trying to plead with him, trying to plead with him, but they would not hearken. So this is eventually the spirit he got in. Okay? Jeremiah 18 and 15. Because my people have forgotten me, they have burned incense to vanity, BLM, Christianity, Islam. Okay? All of these empty uh, philosophies. I'm a black man. I'm a Moor. Moor means black. Okay? The Moors were just Israelites who converted to Islam. Okay, 
It says, and they that have caused and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths to walk in paths in a way not cast up. Okay? And you're walking in these paths, man, and you're gonna lose. That's why we're here to tell you to make their land desolate in a perpetual hissing. And everyone that pass it thereby shall be astonished and wag his head. And that and when people go through the hood, that's what they do. They 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 shake their head. They're astonished. Okay? And you have to ask yourself, why did the Lord do that to us? Okay, and then when you explain it to Jake, they say, why? Well, not, not, not my God. Well, okay, according to the God you believe in, why did it happen? Or according to whatever the hell you believe in, why did, why did it happen? And then you niggas are all in the front of these marches of the alphabet community as if that's going to help upgrade your condition. Esau has made it a point to throw all manner of confusion your way. The only way out is the straight gate. I will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy. All right. The same ones you going and crying to the Lord's going to have them busting in your houses, not showing any mercy. All right. I will show them the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. He's going to turn his back to your cries because you niggas are going to be crying. You're going to be starving. You're not going to understand why you're going to be trying to ration your food in the little water you have. Then you go run out and you go go out into these, uh, the, into the, you know, different parts of the world or the cities looking for help. You go run up to Esau and say, Mr. White Man, do you go pow? That same nigga you offered some catfish, <laughs> that same Edomite you ran to, 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 to come up against Jake. To help you, he, he you think he's going to help you like in Katrina. You got Jake. There's horror stories with Jake like, man, I thought I, uh, I thought white people were cool. But, man, the same people I was, you know, saying hi to every day in my neighborhood and, you know, the scene at the store, man, I will run up. I saw them shooting us. Okay. Well, as the elder Ariala said, man, that old E is going to be uh, 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 presented. And you ain't going to have any covering. Like the Lord said, he's going to turn, he's going to show him, he's going to show the back and not the face in the day of their calamity. Then said they, come, let us devise devices against Jeremiah. For the law shall not perish from the priest, nor the counsel from the wise, nor the word from the prophet come. All right. And see, Jeremiah was telling them, look, the, the temple is going to be destroyed. Repent, throw away all these idols. Okay, he was cursing Jake out. Chapter 7 is like a old special curse out that he gave them. I believe it's in chapter 7 of Jeremiah. He went in on Jake. He went right at the gates. He was right where they go into the temple and let him have it, man. Okay, so he re he was the prophet. He was, he was out there going in on Jake, man. But somehow niggas will read this and say, you got to look. Two thirds, man. Slob strings hanging from his, his mouth. You gotta love the two thirds, man. All right, well, 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 good luck when the Lord turn his back on him. Maybe your black ass can go help him. Come and let us smite him with the tongue and let us not give heed to any of his words. Are not we seeing that from Jake with these guys out there? They're smiting them with the tongue. Give heed to me, O Lord, and hearken to the voice of them that contend with me. This is what Jeremiah said. Shall evil be recompensed for good? For they have digged a pit for my soul. They wanted them dead. If them niggas could press a button, if these niggas could press a button and have all of these men just explode, they do it. Okay? If they could, could go to Esau and tell Esau to lock every one of them up, they would they would clap. They would clap as they're getting hauled off into the 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 uh, the, uh, the van to go t be taken to jail. These niggas would be clapping. And then after these men were put in jail, all these niggas would sit around and eventually they get into an argument. Because none of these niggas agree. It's the wickedness of our people, man. 
They have digged the pit for my soul. Remember that I stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away thy wrath from them. <laughs> That's what we're trying to do. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. Jeremiah got an attitude. He got mad. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine. That's mean. All right. And pour out their blood by the force of the sword and let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows and let their men be put to death. Let their young men be slain by the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. Who's that troop? Esau, these UN troops. They're all coming over here. They're here. Okay? For they have digged a pit to take me in his snares for my feet. Yet, Yahweh, thou knowest all their counsels against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sin from thy sight. But let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thine anger. And we feel the same way. Do you agree with Jeremiah? Or are you going to run up on Jeremiah? You hate the two thirds, man. Relax, bro. We're not here for this. We're not here for this. We're not here for this, bro. We're not here for this. We're not here for this. When are niggas going to do this to the white man? Man, and to hell with some goddamn George Floyd. What, what, what did he do that was so great when he was alive that should be celebrated? Okay, which that was a psyop, but that nigga went out screaming for his mama with a police knee on his goddamn head. And when he was alive, he was a, he was a, 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 a drug addict. Okay, a loser. To hell with some goddamn George Floyd. Okay, you got men who were standing up for the truth and have died. Okay, those are the brothers we you know we 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 give a homage to. To to hell with some goddamn George Floyd. That nigga got a statue with a tank top on. And the Lord struck down one of them damn statues and murals, man. George Floyd. <sighs> this is why it don't even make sense to go to the, because it, it was judgment from the Lord anyway. All right. What happened to them people? All we got to do as the prophets is just continue to prophesy the truth. All right. But you got particular camps. They're going to do what they do. All right, and we just go talk about it. And I and I and I saw, cause we we got on. I know Sakari. <laughs> all right, they were out there uh, uh, for some George Floyd calls, which that didn't make sense to us. But whatever. But you had Israelites that went to the whole George Floyd and, uh, marches and, and set up and preached. Why don't you niggas march when niggas shoot niggas and do all of the wickedness they do to each other? Y'all big up that behavior. Y'all big up the, 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 the music that promotes it and all. 
our people are confused, man. I'm going to wrap this up. And see, this is, although we, we don't agree, the, 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 the message of the Israelites is to tell our people from pretty much all of the camps is to tell our people to repent and turn from sin. All right. You heard he just said we have to do a, a turn away from sin, which is transgression of the law. Right. But niggas don't want to hear that. Now, again, if Lil Wayne or some other a young thug got, somehow got out of jail or whatever, and he's out there rapping his same old bullshit, these niggas wouldn't have a problem with it. <laughs> yeah, Jake said we don't need to hear the Bible right now. People are mourning. All right. Yeah, and you see people that probably don't even know they're Israelites are like, damn, man, these people look bad. And <laughs> yeah, they got all this energy for 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 their own for their own people, and this is the video, you know, um, you know where they were out, you know, they they recorded on their page, you know. That he said, "Wherein has thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother?" Said the Lord, "Right." God said, I loved you, Jacob. I'm talking about the Israelites. We said to him, how could you have loved us? Look what we're going through. Yes, God said he hates Esau. Right. So what y'all talking about? God loves everybody. Right. 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 You said the Lord. I am. Anyway, Shalom.